right for today's project i'm going to add on to my little fitness complex i've created uh, i got a, a pull-up bar and monkey bars i got a ninja line i even got a zip line okay all right didn't start out um uh, this isn't really for me it's for my kids but uh, i started out building a pull-up bar and i thought hey why don't i just turn this into monkey bars uh I kind of went through this thing. I was like, should I build a tree house or a ninja course? We were watching a lot of Ninja Warrior at the time. And I was like, do I want to build something that's really cool, like a tree house, but they probably won't play in it long? Or should I go with a ninja course that even if they're just hanging out here bored, uh, at least they can hang or climb on something and get physically fit in the process. So I went with the ninja course idea. And it's very basic. I'll go over it with you. So I added, um, I started out with this pull-up bar here, um, and then I added this just little bar for them to do pull-ups on or hang on and swing on. And then I was like, well, I'm gonna add, make uh, monkey bars out of it. So I got some wood, I even added a salmon ladder and found an old, this goes to a fan that hangs off a ceiling, this bar right here for a salmon ladder. Uh, I even used this for a squat rack the other day. And so I think I may even try to move something down here to uh, for a bench press. But uh, then I added cargo net here. Got like nunchucks to hang on. And got like a fingerboard here. So I souped it up a little bit and then got a ninja line and I took an old pallet right here. Just kind of made an obstacle to climb up like a ladder. Um, the first thing I added was a zip line and I used a uh, deer stand up the tree, zip all the way down to that tree. So, All right, so the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to add another bar like this over here to make a, uh, so you can do dips, tricep dips. Now the materials you'll need for this project or for me to add on to this project, I got two four by fours. Uh, they're the shortest ones they had, so they're a little bit long. I may, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna cut them even with this one or just leave them tall and make something else out of it. But I'm gonna put those in the ground. Uh, I got a bag of cement that go with that. Uh, I got, this is an inch and three eighths. So that's gonna drill a hole into the wood here uh, where I can fit this this bar in um, or this bar now this bar is shorter uh, this bar is this pipe is really expensive and I didn't really feel like forking out the extra money to buy one the same length so it's just gonna have to be shorter quick tip um, after I had made this I you I realized it'd be a lot cheaper to buy a fence chain link fence pole and just cut it in half so that's what i did here but this bar this bar and this bar uh, i think it's made of like zinc or something and it's pretty expensive uh, so i don't recommend getting these i recommend using the fence pole and cutting it up and i'll also you will also need a shovel for this project now it's time to start digging All right, a couple of materials I left out while I'm digging uh, is a tape measure to see how deep the hole is. So I need to make it fairly deep uh, when I put the concrete in and also a level so I can make sure that the post is straight uh, before I set the concrete. All right, so one way to kind of see your depth of your hole is just to put a board over it. Uh, put the tape measure down and measure it to the edge of the board. So we're almost at like a foot deep right now. I'm gonna to try to go about maybe half a foot to a foot more. So maybe a foot and a half to two feet deep hole before I set this post. All right, I got this hole dug about 16 inches deep. Uh, still got a lot of wood left. Uh, definitely um, went a little big on this one, but I think what I'm, I'm gonna use the uh, left scrap wood something else so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna measure we'll measure this one 
and then let me see how far I need to see where I need to cut it at. I think I'm just gonna cut cut this board and um, got another project idea for the leftover of this. So, and I'll do the same with the other board. And then we will once I get that cut, uh, we'll start um, cementing this in. I may dig a few more inches down this hole, but uh, I think I pretty much got the way I want it. Alright, so I got the board cut, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour some cement into this hole and try to get it as level as I can. Take that back. First thing I'm going to do is make sure this is where I want it, and I'm going to mark on the board where I want to drill the hole for the um, pipe. So I'm using, I'm using the level on the pipe. That way, I, if I, when I see the bubble in the middle, I know that is level, and I know that the top of the pipe will be level if I put it in this hole. Daddy, I found a leprechaun. You found a leprechaun? Look. Oh, look at there. All right, so that will be the top of the pipe, so I gotta find the center of the pipe now. Post, I'm going to actually use a one and one fourth. That's what I should have used on that one. There's still a little wiggle room for the pipe. I don't particularly want it to spin uh, while I'm doing dips or while one of my kids is playing on it. So I will find some rubber cement or something to um, put in with this this side, just so it won't to give it a little uh, resistance to spin. Um, the other one, I'm just going to use this, this the correct bit so it will not spin at all, and I'll actually. I have to hammer it in there to make it fit. All right, let's get this posted. Now, the last time I, when I made uh, the monkey bars and pull-up bars, I mixed the cement up before putting it in the hole. Uh, I'm just going to dump the cement in here, and I'm going to pour water over it and do it that way. And you got it? Mm -hmm. All right, just like that. All right. All right. Cement there. Hold it straight. Thank you. All right, time for the second hole. I'm gonna take the tape measure and this pole should be 48 inches long. Which it is. So I got my post set. Um, 
All right, so this bar will go across like this. Um, now, I'm gonna drill a little bit deeper into this post here, uh, simply for, because I use the wrong drill bit on this one. See how easy it fits in there? I don't want, really want that to happen. I think also drilling into this hole a little deeper with the correct drill bit will hold it in there tightly as well. Then I will get the bar in there, make sure it's level, make sure it's level with this bar, and I will pour the cement in and then get a mix of a little water in there. We will let it sit. I'll check it again this afternoon, but hopefully by tomorrow we can be doing some tricep dips on it. Chest. screw the pipe into the hole. So that's kind of what it'll look like. you enjoyed the slip and slide and uh, a little something extra threw in here this is a not a hard build I kind of adjusted made some adjustments along the way and just you know just kind of really just threw it together it really wasn't that difficult um, wish I had a video to show you how I built the whole the whole thing but uh, it's pretty simple maybe, maybe this video will inspire you to uh, make your make something for you or for your children or because really we all use this uh, me include and all three of my children we we play this all the time and it's just an easy way to use your own body weight to get strong and physically fit so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time